Welcome back to South by Southwest. I'm here with my friend Avi Voss. This year, one of the things we're talking about is not theory, but actual problem solving. And we were just having an off air conversation around how the dynamics of influencers have changed. So Avi, tell us a little bit about what you're doing in that space. Oh yeah, I mean definitely this space has really evolved what we had like four years ago. So now what we are focusing is on micro and the nano influencers. Forget about your influencers or multi-million followers. I don't want that. Right. I want to go a local grassroots level. If I'm doing a campaign in Boston DMA, I want to speak to a Boston local foodie TikToker who has only 80,000 followers. That's it. I'm not looking. These are the people who are driving real-time conversations and they A, not only help us in driving awareness of our brand and help us, you know, move the needle to close the sales. So definitely there's a big shift which I am seeing uh, towards nano and uh, micro influencers. Excellent. So part of that then is not just reach, which is important, but actual engagement. And a like is not an engagement, I, in my opinion. And we've been trying to, to almost sometimes fight with our clients to say, that's great that that post had, had a thousand likes on it, but how many people asked you a question and how many sales did it lead to? Absolutely, it's the comments and the shares. Forget about the likes, you know, nobody cares about the likes. How many, what post was shared with how many people, how many comments it generated, and how many of them were responded in real time. That's what we are looking for and that's what these nano influencers help us reach. Absolutely, and one of the other things that we do, uh, we call it at, at Knox Management Consulting, well-orchestrated campaigns, meaning if we've convinced an executive to go with a micro or nano influencer over the Kim Kardashians, yeah. right? Yeah. <clears throat> How do you prep the organization to start even themselves engaging in those conversations? Yeah. I think it takes a mind shift. You know, a lot of C-suites, they still believe in, oh, well, hey, Kim Kardashian, they'll drive the big brand awareness, the buzz, right? And they may help, you know, but if you're looking at a sustained sales and a real-time engagement, that's what your nano influencers would help us. Connecting with the people, you don't want to throw a big white net, but you want that real connection and the real sale. Absolutely, and then on top of that, one of the things I've been using um, in, in our pitches to companies is, is a, just a tree falling in the in the woods, right? Exactly. So if a tree falls in the woods, does anyone hear it? If someone posts on social, influ mega influence or not, but no one engages with it, does anyone see or hear the post? Exactly, that's the, I think you hit it right off. I mean, there's no denying in the fact that, you know, hey, social media, I mean, it's here, it's evolving, and you know how much influencer budgets have grown. I mean, I think, what's the new number, like $40 million, $40 billion? Yeah. I mean, unbelievable, you know, it's amazing growth to see. And you and I, we can become influencers. Uh -huh. Give us a phone, give us a camera, give us some followers. You create your own social right. cloud, you know. Exactly. Everybody's an influencer. You have a phone. And, you know, you have a voice, you are an influencer. Absolutely. And then one of the things we tie to that uh, also is what's your content strategy, right? So you are posting and talking about things relevant to your space to make you a subject matter expert. But unless you're taking an active position, you shouldn't be talking about everything necessarily. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and again, your, your content needs to be effective with your target audience, you know. And of course, we give them guidelines on you know, what to talk about, what not to talk about. But overall, you know, it should it should not come as a tailored post, you know. Right. So that's how we kind of, you know, mix and match, you know. So don't forget the brand and, you know, and be authentic, you know. That's what counts, yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, Avi.